hey, welcome to Walk Show. It's my pleasure to uh, be here. To talk show Walk Show. Um, my guest today is Casey Newton. He's from San Francisco. He's a reporter on like start startups, business yeah. and stuff. Basically. Business? Would you yeah. say business? What's yeah. like business, business, if you will. Um, What's your and so now? I don't know. I guess my question. My I was thinking I think about what to ask you. About, yeah. Um, so you're sort of an expert on. I heard I saw you in this video, and you're talking about like. Um, advice for small businesses so do you think that your reporting makes or breaks any startups um, no i mean i think at best when you write a really good story you bring attention to something that maybe um people wouldn't have seen otherwise and there have definitely been cases where we write about something and then we hear back from the founder of a company and they say hey after your story ran, we got more downloads than we've ever gotten before, or, you know, all these people are trying out our services. So, I mean, in that sense, yeah, I think um, being featured on The Verge in particular can be really helpful to startups. Um, you know, the flip side of that is sometimes we write a story that's maybe, uh, you know, has a little bit of a, a negative cast to it or contains some information that is... Uh, you know, paints a company in a negative light, and I do think that can hurt companies. And you know, often they will push back if they feel like it was unfair or whatever. So, you know, it's like one of the cool things about being in journalism is feeling like you're part of the mix, and what you do does have an impact. But at the same time, like I don't want to overstate the impact. You know. So you think that's like your your function? Your function in society is to like hype up things. You think you have like a good enough? opinion about businesses and what their like business what businesses should exist that <laughs> that your words yeah are like i don't know what what is it, what's your function what's your function in society for real i, I mean or like what's like our function in society as sure, like as journalists yeah i mean i'm a big believer that um I'm, I'm a big believer in an informed citizenry, right? Like, we can't make good decisions about what happens in the future unless we know what's going on. And the corporate world and the political world, two of the most powerful worlds that there are, both have thousands of people employed full-time to give us a very slanted version of the truth. Uh, they hire public relations professionals and other operatives to sometimes hide the truth, to sometimes outright lie to us, and most of the rest of the time just try to put the best possible spin on something. And so to me, the one of the highest and best purposes of journalism is to just cut through that and say that's not true. And maybe that's because we found some documents that show that what you're saying and what you're doing are totally opposite, right? Maybe it's we have um, the ability to just sort of analyze public records and say, um, you know, this company or this politician is misleading us. And, uh, and that's the role of, you know, what is traditionally called the fourth estate, is we push back. The against, what? Well, the fourth estate. Um, I've never heard of it. Is this something I should know? Is it, it comes out of the, the French Revolution journalist. times. Um, I can't tell you all three. <laughs> I can't tell you the first three estates. But the idea was that basically the press was like, a pillar of the uh, the state itself, and not not democracy necessarily, but you know the press was a powerful institution that you know politicians felt like they had to pay attention to because it would call them out when they mm. did the wrong thing. You know, yeah. so, look at the end of the day, like for all my high-minded talk, sometimes I just see a cool app and I write about it because it's cool and I want people to check it out. And that's fine. But like, what gets me out of bed in the morning? It's, like, the, it's the idea that I can like push back against lies and try to help, you know, whoever's reading The Verge have a slightly more nuanced and informed understanding of what's going on in the world around them. Because guess what? Uh, the world is insane and it's changing yeah. incredibly quickly and none of us can understand all of it at once, right? Yeah. And so I just think there needs to be a place where people can go to understand that in real time and have people who are on their side trying to help them understand that and say smart things about it um so i mean i love being a journalist have it, like how often do you feel like you changed the world in a big way in a good in a good way too i think um 
there are probably like four or five stories in my career that I would point to and say, like, I the world changed just a little bit based on the stuff that I reported. Um, I used to cover politics. My first job was covering this small town where uh, there was a mayor who um, used to take his friends and family out for dinner yeah. on the city credit card, mm. and then he would lie on the receipts and say that he was taking potential developers out to try to sell them on the uh, promise of you know, locating in that town. And I got a hold of some documents that show that he was lying about it, and you know, he never ran for office ever again. Was he a bad guy? Uh, it's not for me to say. He was lying. He, okay. he was using like I mean, I'm, taxpayer money to just like go have these incredible meals, um, and then he lied about it. <laughs> so, you know, I think most people would say that's, those are not good qualities in an elected official. Um, so, you know, that was kind of the first big story that I sunk my teeth into, where I did feel like I had an impact, and you know, hopefully the uh, the town where that happened was a little bit better off as a result of you know having a mayor who was not lying about uh, the way he was using taxpayer money. Is this what you always wanted to do? Do you like calling people out or like finding the truth? Like what made you want to like, what made you want to do this? I think I've always had a somewhat like self-righteous streak. Like yeah. I have a sense of right and wrong. Um, I, I think I have a healthy sense of the absurd and I just absolutely hate being lied to. And, you know, to be a citizen in the modern world is to be lied to every single day, right? Like, we're surrounded by this really insidious advertising everywhere. Politicians go out of their way to not tell you what they actually think about anything. And then you have corporations who have this vested interest in only presenting one side of the truth. You know, I knew I wanted to be a writer when I was a kid. I used to write, like, fantasy stories. But starting in high school, I just started doing newspaper stuff. And the first things I were writing were, like, editorials about, you know, how my high school should change its science program. Because um, I've, like, I don't know. I guess I've always had a certain arrogance about wanting to say how the world should be. Uh, and was happy to share that with the world. And, you know, I did it a few times. And, you know, uh, people would come back and say, hey, you were right on about that. And there's something really powerful about it. So... From the time I started doing that in high school, I just knew that I was going to become a writer and uh, and that it was going to be like nonfiction and journalism. And I just kind of want to see where it would take me. And it's taken me to some pretty awesome places. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, how did you feel walking around Bryant Park with a selfie stick in front of us? Well, I feel better than when we were on the street because everybody on the street looked very upset with us. <laughs> like, we were going to hit them. And at least in Bryant Park, we had a little room to maneuver. Mm. See, we're, we're walking down the stairs well, now. Jay, I mean, is it like uh, in, that, in the, that line of questioning, yeah. is there anything we didn't talk about? Uh, you didn't ask me uh, if I have any nephews. Yeah. Do you? I have, thank you for asking. I have two nephews. One his name is Carter, and he's three. And I have a new nephew named Sawyer, and he was just born two weeks ago. Wow. Yeah. Do you hold? Do you hold him? I haven't got a hold of him yet. He's down in Southern California, and I've been in New York. I've been um, thinking. Of, like, I really, I haven't held like a newborn baby in a while. Uh -huh. I don't know. I just want to see what it's like. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I want to smell them. Uh -huh. I just want to see if it's all yeah. bad again. They have a distinctive I don't think smell. I have baby fever or anything. Like, I don't want yeah, one. I just want right. to have one for a second to yeah, smell Yeah, I just want to kind of borrow one for a second. Uh, I recommend it. You do have to get permission before you can just pick up a baby. So yeah. I would definitely do that. Uh, kind of get all your ducks in a row there. Yeah, baby's all right. great. Thanks for being on Walk Show. It was my pleasure. I guess, I don't know where you want to go. Where is, how does this should show, this show end? Should you, it should should you walk a, that way, like out of frame? Or? I think it should end with a hilarious crap fall where I trip, <laughs> and then you just keep walking. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody uh, or, I just, or I just actually trip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then it just cuts to black. Or you can right. do a stunt where you push me into traffic and it looks like I roll over the hood of a car and you just keep on callously walking. Maybe I should do this, like, let me try this. Oh, yeah. I could do, wait, could I do, no, it doesn't really do anything. All right, let's, I don't know. All right. <laughs>